just announced Nobel Prizes, for both chemistry and physics have gone to research related to the carbon atom. The Nobel Prize for Chemistry, went to three scientists for developing a toolkit to manipulate carbon atoms, while the Physics Prize has gone to two Russian-born physicists, for their study on the remarkable properties of graphene, an ultra-thin form of carbon. While announcing the Nobel Prize for Physics, the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences stated, Carbon, the basis of all known life on Earth, has surprised us once again. They do not realize how loaded their statement is. For what we have seen in graphene, is only a small glimpse of the wonders, the carbon is capable of. Especially what awaits us in the very near future. Before we reveal the form of carbon that is going to change every aspect of our lives, so completely and so drastically, let us bring to your attention, a few other related occurrences, that have been making the news in the past weeks. Recently there was a flurry of concern, in the scientific circles, regarding the discovery of the sun's influence, on the decay of radioactive elements on Earth. It was found, that some kind of strange emissions, from the sun are causing matter, to mutate on Earth. Its influence on the decay rates, of elements like carbon-14, has been especially worrisome, and unexpected. Carbon, as previously stated, is the basic building block of life, as we know it. And carbon-12, is the most abundant form of carbon, accounting for about 99% of all known forms of carbon. It is the isotope of carbon, that consists of 6 protons, 6 electrons and 6 neutrons. 6, 6, 6. Does that sound familiar? After oxygen, the second most abundant element in the human body is carbon-12. On cremation, the body returns to its carbon-12 state. After hydrogen, helium and oxygen, which are all gases, carbon-12 is the most abundant element in the universe. Carbon-12 is also one of the five elements that make up the human DNA. Thus carbon-12 is indeed the most crucial element as far as life as we know today, is concerned. This is probably what the writer of the Revelation, meant when he said that 666, was the number of man, or number of the beast. It is the number of carbon-12, which is the basis of man's physical body, which ties him to the physical universe. This is especially significant, when we understand, what transmutation awaits this carbon-12, which will bestow man such superhuman powers, that will make every technological advancement till date, completely redundant. Every secret has a time. A time to reveal. A time to celebrate. It is now time to reveal the secret of all secrets. The secret of alchemy. The secret of the philosopher's stone, that which transmutes, in a symbolic sense, lead, to gold. The secret of the elixir of life. The secret of amritha, or ambrosia, the nectar of immortality. The secret of something we shall label, ascension, since its primary function is to aid the coming ascension. To form a portal into the higher dimension. The secret of carbon-7. Carbon-7 is the hitherto undiscovered isotope of carbon, which has six electrons, six protons and only one neutron. It is the material equivalent of the Kundalini system as well as Metatron's cube. Like iron has the ability of sustaining a magnetic field around it, carbon-7 has the uncanny ability to carry hyperdimensional fields, such as fields of thought, around it. Thus it can amplify thought, and other hyperdimensional fields, just as the iron and copper in a transformer can amplify magnetic fields. Naturally, it is formed in the brains of spiritual adepts, when they have out-of-body experiences, or perform other supernatural phenomena, such as bilocation, or materialization etc. During such time the glow, or halo, that is formed, around the heads of these highly evolved beings, is actually due to the excess neutrons, produced when carbon-12, transmutes to carbon-7 inside their brains. However this carbon-7, quickly decays to other stabler forms of matter. Hence it is almost impossible, to detect carbon-7 directly in the human body. History and religion has offered us many clues, as to the identity of this most wondrous material, through cryptic notations, symbols, and enigmatic texts. But it had to veil it, in the most puzzling language, and symbols, since this knowledge, in the wrong hands, 
could mean the destruction of this planet. Such is its power. In that case, you may ask, why we are revealing it now, since the same risks are still prevalent. There are two main reasons for this revelation, at this point of time. 1. We are now at the very threshold, of the most significant shift humanity has ever experienced. It is the time for all secrets, to be revealed. We have been holding on to this secret, for a long time. And nature has spoken, through signs that the time for this secret too, has come too. Although the atomic structure and the properties of this wondrous material are revealed here, it is extremely difficult to synthesize carbon-7, in a laboratory, other than in expensive particle accelerators. In the Kundalini system, this 661 configuration is represented, by the male and female counterparts, of the six lower chakras, and the seventh chakra, which is the neutral Satyasrara. In Judaism, Metatron, who is considered to be God's mediator with man, is often represented by a cube formed by 13 circles, comprising of one central circle, surrounded by six inner and six outer circles. In Christianity, Da Vinci's famous Last Supper, that depicted a moment before Christ's crucifixion, and subsequent resurrection, and ascension, is a symbolic representation of the 661 configuration, where six apostles are on either side of Jesus Christ. It is interesting to note that both Kundalini, Metatron, and Christ are vehicles of ascension, albeit in different spiritual systems. This knowledge, is known to advanced civilizations, beyond our planet, who have been watching over us for millennia. The release of this information, at this point of time, is also meant to accelerate disclosure. This knowledge, with the power to amplify one's mind, will make all technological progress and economic systems, completely redundant, since in the age of manifestation, and abundance that awaits us post-2012, technology and money, will have no meaning. In the period post-disclosure, the conditioning of man, will take place, during which time, the collective mind of man, will undergo a quantum shift to expansiveness. A critical mass of humanity, will cross over from an egocentric, material life, to an egoless, love-filled, and spiritual life. The sun's activity during this time, will ramp up. The final transmutation, that will be affected by the sun, will be the transmutation of the carbon-12, in human DNA, into carbon-7. This will empower man, to survive the final double cataclysm, of the super flare pole shift, and migrate to the higher dimensional new earth. This is a timeline, that we must realize.